Valorant community for being here, here we go. for watching the LID Sports Odyssey Valorant event. It has been hype from start to finish. Our group stages have been amazing. It is all coming down to this day, and it's all coming down to Bind to see who is going to fight off against Liquid in the grand finals, a best of three. Well, thanks. I'm incredibly excited for Bind. As I said last time, it was separated by Pixels. 6-6 six to six on each half. Went to overtime where FPX just about took it 2-0. But Liquid are even looking a little bit better than they did back then. Definitely. Honestly, I'd be a little bit surprised if they're not able to put up a better fight. But at the same time, I think FPX are as well. <laughs> oh, I'd like picking you can't call it. You just can't. Liquid G2, you can call who's going to win that just based on the history there. Mm -hmm. But for FPX being such a new lineup and yet they deliver such success, it is very difficult. I, I wouldn't even touch it. You want to risk something, Banks? You want to make a play? Yeah. Oh, okay. Who you, oh, well, of course. I look at the flags and I go, hmm, who's Banks going to vote for? I'm going for my boy. Your boy or your boys? Oh. You voting FPX? You going with Angel? Oh, what are you doing? Are you betraying uh, the British boys? Uh, my heart, my countrymen, my flag. It says... The liquid should win. Oh, okay. But, but, oh. but <laughs> I'm, I'm so <laughs> on the edge of it. Like, there's a world where I see FPX just taking this because liquid just come off the back of the loss. I can see how much liquid want this. You got 25 seconds, Banks. You can't give me time in, bro. You can't, you can't wait till after the pistol. Uh, to pick it. <laughs> <laughs> you can just last round. I think they're going to okay, win. Okay, I want liquid to win. I sadly okay. think that Angel and the boy is going to get it done because it's buying. Liquid need to get off on a good start. My caveat is that Liquid have to win Pistol. Their defensive side has to be so strong because their attacking side I'm confident with. But it's just the fact that like FPX right now, it all depends on what Shao and Zipan do. Yeah. If it's the Zipan and Angel show, then Liquid get it. So yeah, I've not really given you a choice. No, I think you, you go either way. I've really just, I've, I've, I've not even flip flopped. I've just given you a middle ground of how I think it's going to go. But that's, that's either way, I win if either team wins because <laughs> I've got all my British that's lads, true. yeah, and Scream, me and Scream go way back, and then you've just got me. Uh, to be fair, it's only me and Angel on Fun Plus Phoenix. We're just the old mm -hmm. boys. So you know, the thing is, I'm completely with you on that. I think the stats are with you. It's like, well, Fun Plus Phoenix <laughs> should win because of this. This is Liquid should win because this is this. Yeah. It is such a close one, and I think that sets the tone. We cannot make up our mind. If you're in chat and you can make up your mind, you're biased. God damn it. This is going to be one <laughs> hell of a game. It's going to be close. Last time it was overtime that separated them, oh. and this time a few bullets put Liquid oh. in the lead. Echoes showing up for a double, but not able to finish off Angel. Oh. The need not making it out of Soul Cast's hand to almost certainly finish off Angel as he falls. We're into a 3v3. A little bit of extra do damage done over towards the breach on FPX. But Team Liquid, they've got to gear up and get back into this one for the retake. And this is the start you wanted. Eccles looking to lock it down as they come through bathrooms. Then the quick swing on Angel. Scream pokes on out, has to heal himself up. Oh, and that was close as well. Less than ideal for him, but he domes Angel. Looking for more. Zipan comes around the corner. The young star, the young Swede, looking to get it done. His teammates are with him. Oh! Scream still swinging for him. He's still delivering. And FPX, they're in trouble. Oh, Shadow! <laughs> he just does him. He was 51 low. health and he managed to make it work. FPX, even this first round, what the is going on? <laughs> what the fiddlesticks is going on indeed, Banks. I think your mic cut out on that one. Yep. Uh, we saw Shadow low HP from the very start of that play. We called it out. His teammate falls and it's looking like it's going to be over, done with, and dusted. But in he comes to make up for that play from Eccles earlier on with the classic. The ghost tippity tapping away. You got to feel bad for Solkas on that one. It feels like if he gets that nade out, he's happy. He's good to go. But he was in the open and they just swung. Ferrari peaked him. And at the speed they came around the corner, he couldn't take his weapon out in time. Fun plus Phoenix win the opening duel. And look at this buy from Liquid. Actually one of the weaker <laughs> buys that we've seen. They always force up round two, at least the majority of the time. But this time... It's it's a marshal alongside some pistols without armor. They are treating FBX with so much respect on this one. And you need to. You cannot count a team like FBX to just make mistakes for you to find your success. Liquid right now know that this game is not just important to get to the grand finals. It's spike. important for the future the of them and what they can deliver here. Blinding. No 
charges. In EU Valorant. Angel. Slowly stepping forward. Soul class. Oh, that's not good for him. Gets flashed out. They don't push on it though. Soul class just... He's waiting. He wants the shorty to pop. Oh, that's nice. But straight away, the refrag comes in. So Angel can be the sacrificial lamb to the slaughter. And you thought Scream was going to try and get it done. But Shadows, he stepped up in the pistol round. He's doing it right again now. Woof. He's going to be picking shrapnel out of himself for weeks. He just got four shorty shots in the space of two seconds. And he's still standing, ready to go. He's eating them up like Jim Carrey in the mask and spitting them out. <laughs> He was certainly spitting bullets back in their direction. There's now with just the one player left. Only Link's getting much done. Not even the kill for it. One player lost over on FBX and as well, it was the player who had a ghost. So you're going to be happy enough to take that on the chin and move forward. For Liquid, the slight investment, not really paying off. But now they can get four rifles, a lot, well, four strong rifles, let's say, alongside a bulldog, which is only a marginal downgrade. Realistically, that weapon ADS, especially on the defensive side, holding an angle, you can get kills with it, and even more so if your name is Scream. And that's the thing, right? Scream, this Sage, he plays it in such a unique way, a bit more passive, doesn't go for the boosting himself up into success. Any more to lock them off and allow them to push themselves around into a choke point. There. And for two to zero, FBX, I think they've gotten away with the best position they could have, mm -hmm. realistically, uh, economically. I do wonder for Liquid where the mentality goes if they lose this round. It's very early on, but you don't want FBX to start building up and rolling. Scream with a very passive hold. He's being passive because he doesn't want to take any risk on a round like this. Nade's going out. Nothing found just yet. Oh, he still gets tagged. That's not what he wanted. Oh, the omen snuck in. Does he know? The boombot's coming towards him, but it, oh, the, the angle's just perfect. No fear from Scream. He looks to try and put the wall up. The spot's going to be revealed of Angel. Scream just swings straight on it. Takes him down. Upgrades to the Vandal. This is looking good for Liquid. They're coming in with a lockdown. No charges. They've not got near the site just yet. And every time they try to step in, there's another Liquid player to deliver the kills. Meadow, he's in the back lines of B Long. He's all alone. And, well, ooh, nearly a bit of overextension there from Scream. He nearly walked straight into it. Tap, 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 but it still doesn't work out. Scream's the one that delivers. What a solid round. It was just like no real stress, no drama, just, yeah, we and got team, this. Team Liquid didn't overextend into any sort of aggressive plays. You saw towards A that Meta was waiting outside of it the whole time, uh, hoping that he could find some combat, had his camera down as well, just in case someone pushed Bath as they went to fight the cam, he could mm -hmm. just swing and take the kill, or at least feed that info over. But nobody got aggressive. They stayed in a very passive position and allowed their opponents to push into them. And the real problem came down when Scream was able to put the wall into play while Angel was being spotted and just walk into that smoke, get the angle, take the kill and leave, completely unpunished. Really nobody in Hookah could deal with them because they were busy breaking the wall, but Angel seemed completely unaware that that play was possible. I think his smoke might have been a little bit too shallow. Yeah. And even still, as soon as you're spotted, you have you to need be aware. To look. Yeah, you need to smoke. be looking around. Completely agree. Echo's position is going to be spotted out, but it doesn't matter. He's at least good for one. Zipan, though, superior aim. But Link says, well, wait a second. Anything you can do, I can do better, buddy, because I'm the headshot machine. And we don't know the stats. We don't actually be able to know if we can track the headshot percentage. But I'm pretty damn sure Link's the one that headshots the most. And he's going forward. He's pushing down B-Long. He's got to be careful. And oh, I see what he's trying to do. He's just trying to make a play off the back of it. But he's now given them the advantage. Sometimes those risks have to be taken, but this time it definitely doesn't pay off. Big ult going through. That's going to catch oh. the whole team. Oh, but the nade. Perfectly timed to at least deal some damage. Oh. Flash in hand. Shadow completely misread that timing. Screaming with another, and they're being shut down now. A good ult dedicated towards it, but FPX oh. not getting the result. The blast back does so much damage to Meadow. And FPX, they looked like they had a real shot in that round, but Team Liquid with the read and the stack waiting out the ult to fade and then peeking and destroying them. FPX, two rounds in a row, bullied away from the B site. Liquid have come to play. I questioned Link getting aggressive at B long. Well, it didn't even matter. 
Take Cause a look at this yeah. though, right? You find those opening kills towards the B site. Yep. You have two players, one outside mid and one waiting over towards bat. Nobody pushes, nobody takes peaks. 10 seconds go by, you find another one. Now, at that stage, I think it's pretty obvious Team Liquid are gonna rotate. And they fully rotated at that. I feel like that's the point where you probably start to relocate or at least slow down the round a little bit more before pushing on in. Cause a fake towards the A site. At least get them a little bit worried. Good rotates by Liquid, though. Good read yeah. to make that gamble. Oh, they've got to keep this going, though. They're not going to be out of the woods, and FPX are not going to give them an easy time. Hooker controls had, but they back away. Maybe they're trying to force the over-rotation. The wall's gone up straight away from Scream, and that's perfect. When it's walled up like that as well, you can ADS under certain little curves of it and get some vision. Maybe even tap someone through it. It sprays through the smoke on B long, but... It is commitment towards the A site, at least from what we're seeing at the moment with this train of attackers. But they decide to reverse it. It's one of those special trains that can go backwards on the tracks. As at high speed, they move towards the A site. They dodge the drone, and here now it's time to move. Really good reactions yeah, by yeah. Shao to just leave as soon as he hears the drone, because now they've probably, you'd imagine a rotate would start towards the A site. But they're, they're still sticking in positions. Patience from Liquid, but not much time left for Fun Plus Phoenix. Scream on the edge. He's making it look so easy. It's a field day for him. Eccles there to back him up. Liquid are just dominating him. Okay, it's only against pistols. To be fair, FPX are lucky they even got the spike down. The Omen's in the back of the site. The nade all around him. Link's going to just finish him. And well, it's Eccles that gets the kill, but either way. That wasn't real much pressure thrown. It was a 20 minute rush, a 20 second rush. In, sorry, 20 minute rush. That'd be impressive, wouldn't it? <laughs> we ran the clock down so far beyond what was actually possible. Yeah, I can't run for 20 minutes, so I'd be out of that play <laughs> right at the start. We'll get you there, mate. We will get you there. <laughs> Salty but uh, What was interesting about that was they find one kill, but they still managed to get the spike planted. Yeah. The crossover. Just the cover by how long Shadow managed to stay alive jumping around like a monkey. And eventually, he manages to take the frag. Very passive play from Liquid. That's why they were allowed to get in. Three to two. Still close, but it's Liquid that in the key rounds have been the most dominant. Oh, Zipan. Oh, how far are you going to go? Oh, he lands it on the soul gas. But he's being spammed up by Link. Link couldn't finish him off. He might be swung on here. Really nice from Zip, and he's continued to put the pressure on. Liquid now don't have control of the site, and a fast play comes out from FPX. They're mixing it up once again, and that's what Liquid can't handle. Yeah, it's the same as the previous round, really. Just this time, they've got the firepower to match up in those duels. They don't have to just play the distraction game for the spike planned after mm -hmm. the opening duel. They can just continue to take those fights. And on the retake, it's going to be difficult, but they do have a res in play. Scream's got the wall, wants to put no it down. It's going to wall off so they can try and defuse. Going to have to focus in towards Hookah, but an immediate break of the wall allows Angel to come through with a double as they were focused elsewhere. That's an easy round win. There is nothing you can do at this point. No. And 3-3 three to three with Angel finding a 3k. And just to remind everyone who is watching right now, if you type exclamation mark ticket one, into the Allied Esports Twitch chat. You have a chance of winning yourself some wireless HyperX goodies that we've got up for grabs. We're giving a free set of the headset, the charge base, and the mouse for you guys to enjoy. And Zipan, well, he enjoyed a lot of this. Managed to walk straight in with his ult and absolutely dominate. And for all the Valorant players out there, if you type exclamation mark points, we're giving away 10,500 Riot points for you guys to be able to buy the skins you want. Maybe some of the skins you see these players rocking up here. Because skins equals skills. And right now, all these players have got plenty of skills as they're trying to march their way to this grand final. Fun plus Phoenix. They got a round back off Liquid. They've kept it close. But FPX, right? They, they mix it up. Sometimes go slow. They love to run that clock down. And they just explode in there. Liquid was not ready for it. Liquid was playing very passive and still continues to do so as Xiao. Can't find an opening here on short. And it's just the, the waiting game for these two teams. You can see FPX again, like pretty much every round Meadow is sat outside a bath. This time, I don't see him using a cam. 
He's just waiting yeah, for are. someone to give him a little oh. bit of a peek. That's only spotted one Yeet. player. It's not fully giving him that intel. Good. And the spot onto Soulcast. Uh-oh. Close for Soulcast. Does manage to avoid the damage at least. Ah, uh, the ult's coming out. Going in blind, though. They hadn't spotted anybody. That oh, oh, eventually hits. finds it, and it's oh. pretty not good for the third connection. Close. But not close enough. Shadow, they don't have a sage. away from all that grenades. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? It's just no sage for FPX means that eating yourself back up isn't going to be an option. They believe the pure fragging power of what they've got to offer is going to be enough. Five-man retake coming out. Oh, no. Zipan, you're too slow on that one, buddy. Luckily, at this stage, there's no Hunter's Fury left to work with, but they're expecting Shadow. Perfect swing on one, but not the second. Xiao has to trade it out and take down Link as he bails away, creating more space and making it harder for them to find those kills they need. It is now time to save for Team Liquid in a 3v4, but the time is really their main enemy. Yeah, they could try to go for it. They got shut down in lamps, couldn't push up on it. And that's given FPX... The lead finally back in this game. Xiao's now got his Hunter's Fury, though. We've seen him often use it at B-Long early, like yes. pop up there to see if Liquid throw any aggression. But I don't think that's going to work in this Thank case you. because Liquid plays so passive at the moment. Yeah, well, the, the issue really when you're looking at how Liquid are playing is that they're giving nothing away, and mm. FBX's early attacking side is pretty much all based around that slow play. Meadows trying to catch any flankers. He's catching info on if they take toilets control. And yet Liquid are confident in just taking those individual duels. But this time, they do get aggressive, and it doesn't work out. But the res is going to be committed. They knew that was coming through, so the ultimate in play oh. to heal might not even be enough. And luckily, he makes it through the TP. Now stuck outside, but this time Meadows not there to take him down. But they're going to capitalize on that by quickly pushing out onto the site. Zip and Falls, though, opening up hookah control completely, and this becomes much more difficult. With that control lost, disengaging might be the correct play, but Shell quickly on to Link. That'll spur them forward. Scream could be huge here, though, if it's left unchecked. Cryptix is helping him out as well. Plays off the edge of the Cypher cage. Oh, no, that's not what he wanted to see. Shadow right up in his grills. Now Cryptix, he is towards the back of the site. The paranoia comes out, and he's being ever so careful, and rightly so. Eccles. Hoping someone's going to make a mistake. Too slow on the reactions, though, buddy. Is this really happening? Can he clutch it on such low health? Surely not. Position's certainly known. Cryptix doesn't want to risk it just yet. Throws up another cage. Wants to obstruct that vision so he can actually move around a bit more. 30 seconds to go. And realistically for Shadow, this is probably too much of a tall ask for him to do. If anyone pokes him now, it's just one bullet and it's game over. Cryptics. He was patient. He was waiting it out. And we're now back to even Stevens once again. You saw Cryptics just went for the body shot. I imagine it was calmed over the damage that had been done to him. So they just figured yeah, it's not really worth uh, aiming for the head when he's 20 HP. Not worth it at all. 4-4 four to four for FPX. You're, you're fine. Liquid, same. Yeah. Yeah, they were 6-6 six, six last time <laughs> they played. His teams are dead on even when it comes to this map. What I am quite excited by is that we're seeing the ults mostly down low in this round. Mm. Right? There's only one for each team. Now, obviously, FBX can get the most done with it. The Rolling Thunder just coming oh through, pushing all these players up in the air. Oh, Eccles. He was pushing up into it. Doesn't manage to tag anyone up. At least avoids being tagged up himself. Oh, much more aggressive toilets control or bathhouse. As Solkus is pushed back over towards the site, spotted out by a cam. Now, they've got that info secured for quite a while now. They can run down the clock and hope for an aggressive play. You can see they, they were looking for any hookah control being pushed on. They eventually abandoned that and with the aggressive bath control, evidently they're looking to move to site. At least for now. Smoking to heaven, here it comes. Grenades going out. Angel manages to get further forward, but they've still got to deal with Cryptics. Oh, that's beautiful from Angel. He entries like a boss, but Solgas is ready and waiting. Liquid now can't deny the spike plant, but they can wait to see if this retake will work out. They suffered with it last time on A. Xiao getting his drone to get as much information as possible for him. Oh, Shadow. Off your feet! Where you Great get timing. Beautiful timing. <laughs> Poor Solgas. He was worried about being pushed. They can't play off of that. 
No kills though off the back of the ult. That's the important one. And Xiao, he lands a real important shot onto Eccles. Scream's trying to tap him away. He finally takes him out. Is this enough to push in though? Zipan's trying his best. There's only one player left to find. They're trying to get on top of the spike. He's got the information. Oh, he swings on him. It's nicely done. Meadow saves the day. Brilliant stuff. And he jumps in the teleport. He keeps himself alive. And FPX get the round. That is absolutely clutch in a big way. The fact that he spotted him really is what won that round because he could just spray through the box with confidence. Not just that he would get the kill, but that he would kill the person defusing yeah, and the not right the body blocking. That was massive. Watch this, just the spray oh. on through for the kill. Beautiful stuff by Meadow. Right, right to the wire, mm -hmm. Mitch. Ults used, I smart don't... plays trying to be used. The retake from Liquid gets forced away when the ult comes out from Shadow. Oh, it's just so much in it. These guys, they get it, don't they? I'm not sure I like that early commitment of the Aftershock. It, it will keep them back from pushing, mm. and then they'll have to commit some form of flash if they want to go around the corner, which obviously when you've only got an Omen is unlikely to happen. So I guess it does keep them back with this exact composition from Liquid from taking middle control or outside Luka. Oh, the spot oh. again, way too late coming through. Luckily, no Hunter's Fury in play for FPX. That could oh. be the big old screen with the Hello, opening screen. wall down so we can focus over towards his backside, but he goes through, <gasps> waiting for the reload, hoping exactly it would already be engaged. I know, exactly I know Scream wanted it, right? He's trying to change it up real quick for him. But this is a problem. He pokes out. He goes down. Soulcast has fallen as well. Shao can just sit here poised and ready. Gets rid of the drone, but Eccles is waiting. That's an easy one for him to take. He just had to sit and wait. Now they're looking. I know oh, the teleporter used. No one's in B. Shadow just runs all the way around. He's going to go straight in for the spike plant. Instead of three versus two. Nowhere to run. Oh, it's close. Oh, he avoids it. This is huge from Shadow. Especially because there's no heals up for him either. They forced out the ultimate. And Link now has to be oh so careful. They do have the man advantage at least, but no information on where these players are. Meadow, if he pushes through this smoke, he could be in a lot of hot water. The timing all going to be down oh! to it. And he could only get himself that third kill of the round. The defuse easily to come through and the eighth clutch from Meadow, unfortunately, not there this time. Five to five. We remain neck and neck in an almost carbon copy. Not quite in how we made it here. Yeah. Certainly in scoreline between these two teams. The last time they played Bind, they tied it at, at the half. They tied it at the second half. <laughs> and it came down to overtime. And at the moment, we're on track to repeat that. Exactly oh, yeah. I we really exactly are. And I think he knows exactly where you are. Yeah, sounds like it, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty smart from him. Actually, this is a very similar way to the way it went down last time with FBX taking the pistol, Team Liquid coming back in in the buy rounds and equalizing 5-5. All we need now is the 6-6. Six six. Well, Liquid's hoping for 7-5, but no one's been chaining rounds together since the beginning. You can never predict what FBX is going to do. That's the problem. Nice. The flash comes out. Completely destroys Soulcast, but his ult will get him one. The trade comes in as well. Scream needs a bit more, though. He needs to continue to fight forward, and that's exactly what he's doing. That's a big kill on Xiao. But Shadows, oh, off the side of him. No, Scream manages to get another. That could be the nail in the coffin for this round. Look, three still alive as well. This is one of the best rounds the Liquid have had in a long time. Oh, well, <laughs> that's just done and that's no it. hope. <laughs> no way he was getting away with that. And really, that Ray's ultimate, getting the free kill for Solkus was huge. Yeah. Without that, they're falling behind by a little bit in those duels. But also the fact that Scream was able to take a third before falling. I never understand how that happens. The timing on that was perfect. Angel goes forward just as the smoke fades. And six to five. FPX, one ult to play with. Same for Liquid. It's the res that's in play. And that's thanks to Scream getting so many kills. He's up on 13. We said he was on form all game, all tournament long. Certainly today. But the issue is, FBX don't have Xiao. He's just not turning up on the same level we were hoping for. Zip and much of the same. I expect it to change when we go to the defensive side, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, Meadow being pushed. That's not what you want to see happen. 
Oh, this literal pixel. And that and changed, revive. That changed the round completely. If he blocks it off successfully yep. and even gets out of there, they res a player that would have a stinger because he'd upgrade the weapon. But especially because Scream wins that duel. 5v4 with FBX still having weaker weapons. Cover going up. 5v4. Liquid is banging on their door. And FBX. They need to break that door. Push their way forward. Get into a site. And I take some fight. control. But they need to make a decision on where they want to go. Because look, the Liquid players, they're starting to throw some aggressions they've not had to deal with thus far. And Liquid are winning on the aggression front. Grenades coming out. The ult is going to be used by Zipan. and Soulcast is escaping. Oh, he does it in style. Beautiful work there. Doesn't have to be worried about bathrooms just yet, but Scream, he's razor sharp once again. That's two, eventually shut down by Shadow, but he's all alone in a 1v3 again. Scream is making it work. 7-5 first half, and Liquid have done it, at least in the first. But they now need to hold on to it. Their attacking side has to come out. Not even a lot to say about that one, Banks. We're like Scream's just one-tapping everybody, taking them down and living up to his nickname from way back when. You will not One advertisement that branded him for life, and, well, they were certainly the right brand. Look at this. Just disgusting. One after another. You know what's funny is, like, the whole one-tap thing with him. How does it go from CS and still stay, and then comes to Valorant, and he still does it? Like, yeah. It's not even like you're keeping what? it alive. Like It's <laughs> like we're trying. We're like, oh, look, he's, he's a one-tap yeah. machine. He's sick. No, he's, he's doing, doing, doing it independently. What? He could change That's his username funny. and still be the same. We'd still be blown away by his performance. 7-5, though. Liquid have done it. Much better half than what they saw last time. Now a two-round lead coming into the next. And Fun Plus Phoenix know they've fallen behind. They need this pistol to get back into it. Can they make this work? Zipan. Nicely done with the grenade to start off with. Not too much connecting just yet, though. Oh, Eccles tries to teleport into the back lines. Nearly gets himself a second. But Xiao's on top of it. Zipan very low on health. He needs some help. But with no Sage, it becomes very problematic. Liquid, they have the site under control for now. Three players left alive. Xiao wants to make this into a more advantageous position for his team. Link's just tucked away. They're hiding, patiently waiting. Now the Recon Bolt will give away the position. Scream's just got to sit there and tank it up. There's nothing he can do about it. They might swing on him now. And they swing together. Smart stuff coming out. From Fun Plus Phoenix, they've now got the numbers advantage. Only one more to find. Zipan gets it done. The defuse is coming in, and they're grabbing that pistol round and putting a bit of a halt to Team Liquid, at least for the time being. We said it was Xiao and Zipan that we needed to see something from, and Xiao's just come out with a 4K, setting the pace for the second half where we saw where we thought they'd deliver. And remember, Xiao is the one that saved Zipan when Eccles was trying to tap him down mm -hmm. and teleport it to the back. Imagine if that hadn't happened. We've been in a completely different mode. Xiao back at the top of the scoreboards. And then we've got Shadow and Zip. And this is how you want to see it work for this team if they're to find success. This is what Fun Plus Phoenix is all about. And when we talk about Zipan on that raise, it's the defensive side where he'll generally be delivering. Now he's got that, the more comfortable side to play with. Really, if I'm sitting down as Team Liquid, I'd be a little bit nervous. You're about to tie it up. And with the way FPX have been playing, it ain't going to be easy oh, no. when it comes Shout to those buy rounds. No, we've seen it. We've <laughs> yeah. seen it today. How many moments will Shao be given with the judge in hand? Oh, Zipan, you're not looking the right way, buddy. Huge amount of spray comes out towards him. Liquid have A-site control. The rotation already starting to come in. No problem for getting this spike down. They're going to focus toward lamps for now. Boom, boom. Oh, it's the Shao show again with a judge in hand. They're not even going to try challenge him. Oh, he manages to stay alive. Oh, oh no. he moved forward just at the worst time. He was trying to get his shock dart off, but it's not going to work out. Brilliant work from Zipan, though. Some range on it. And how do they go for it? They don't want to poke in to the paranoia. Angel now has a judge in his hand, and it's still going to be going down. He's just tapping away through the cage. One more player to find and link. Well, it's just far too much for him, despite a couple of them being low. Looked a little bit scary, but they only lose Xiao in the end. Yeah, Xiao really shouldn't have stuck around there. I mean, yeah. one thing you know about the raise grenade, it spreads. And I was getting nervous as soon as I saw him continue. There was a recon he had in his hand even. So I was waiting for it to uh, explode because otherwise it would destroy it when it landed. But the fact that he just stands here, 
He's got balls, I'll give him that, but on 20 HP, unfortunately, like, look, that nade just comes around the corner. There was no way that he could get in a good position. That's pretty devastating. I mean, if I'm, uh, if I'm liquid, I'm happy. I got the kill, at least, for a free nade. Yeah. But look at where they're at. It's been the same liquid that we expect on the attacking side. They lose the pistol, they force buy, and now they're left in a position where they've got pistols with no armor and one forced up marshal. They go for this kind of buy quite a bit, yeah. at least the second round buy. Sometimes they eco in third just to get a, an operator early. It depends on how, how many kills they found along the way. Yeah, Liquid are the team that do this interesting force up more than most teams in general. Angel, mm -hmm. oh, he's seen the barrel of the gun. No one's pushing onto it just yet. The nade's going to go out. Oh, that's huge. Solkas. Shadow's able to get one, but he's still going to be oh so careful. Four. Solkas is on four health. My Meadow. He gets them as they try to push round. Now they can get the spike in. But Meadow jumped in to help his teammate. The ult's going down. Oh, that's huge. Shao. This is where he's an absolute beast. He did so much damage there to him. Shadow on the hunt, but Solkas, he's holding his own. Last one to find, though, and, well, with the spike not be actually being planted, this is a big problem for him. As soon as he pokes his head. What? Solkas is not finished yet. Four health and a dream, and that dream is taking down the rest of FBX. The nade goes out, but he can't quite get it. It gets close, but it's not close enough. How did he get away with so much with full health? <laughs> I wish that could work for me. <laughs> no, I'm with you on that one. A bit of a wild play. I like this swing with the judge. I know it doesn't work out very well. I, he got headshot by Sulkis. What can you do? But it was basically to keep his teammate alive yeah, so he could swing yeah. out, having had the nade basically land on him. It was essential. Oh, obviously, you sacrifice your life for it, like but it. you're obviously hoping that it works out a little bit better than that one. Just a little bit. Ooh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder how many of the viewers would get that one. It's probably before my time. Just heard yeah, it, like, it really is, mate. That's why I'm saying it. Whatever you call those things, a little, uh, they have tape in them. I don't know what they're called. They play music and they look like a VCR. Tape machine. I don't know. Cassette. Cassette. That's, That's the one. It. That's the one. <laughs> Oh, oh, this dear. is dangerous. Boom, goes the dynamite. Angel's down. And luckily, his teammate was able to bail out in time. I think that's Shadow. He's been playing here a couple of times. So not going to be escaping the shock dart. Solkas is so low again, though. He's trying to push through the cage. Meadow's right on the other side of it. Shadow's getting it done. Shao's there to back him up as well. It's very back and forth. Liquid may have control of the site, but do they have control of the round? Echo says yes. And there's only one more for them to find, but it's Zipan. We know what this man can do. Right here. Liquid want to even it up. Link is incredibly low. Zipan is on the very slow flank, but look, he's got the boom bot. He's got everything. He's in a good position. It's only his ult that's lacking. Look how they're playing at Liquid. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Starts to spam him. Oh, this is huge. He's not done yet. Throws the boom bot forward. He's trying to play off the oh! side. It's huge. Zipan comes in with a clutch. And Fun Plus Phoenix, they're going to grab nine. Liquid. Oh, they just couldn't handle it. Zipan, this is why he is the master when it comes to playing the raise. As I said, Soulcast is the best of raise abilities. But when it comes to the overall raise performance, it's all about Zipan. I don't know if he heard a step or got bit by a radioactive spider, but that was ridiculous. I don't know, like the reaction time on that, the flick to the left, was so beautiful by Zipan. We said himself and shout, defensive side, they'll show up, and this has nothing to do with the side. They just turned up in two rounds so far, single-handedly winning them for their team. Huge, absolutely huge. And now Liquid, the pressure is on. It's a best of one. They cannot afford to lose this. The winner of this game goes to face G2 in a best of three grand finals. A grand final with G2, Come but no now. team Liquid. Doesn't happen often. The only time it happens is when Liquid aren't in the, in the same tournament. That's, <laughs> that's it. And FPX, man, it's the first tournament as a team. Mm -hmm. First tournament under this org and as a team. That's insane. And they came through the qualifier, man. Yes. The qualifier as Zip and Go Kill. 
was rumoured that they would be put onto FPX before that anyway. And well, what a way for them to get it done. The guaranteed top three here. Drone gets taken out. Shout, trying to get the recon out. Oh, manages to keep his position hidden and actually he's seen one of them. So he does have the information. They've not gone through the teleporter yet. He's playing right on the corner. Soulcast, though, that's the entry the Liquid desperately needed. Oh, Shao, his vision has been taken down. The slow's right on in front of him. It should fade away real quick, so it's not that much of a nuisance to him. He needs to land this shot. His position is completely given away now. Oh, he pokes into it, but he's good for one. That's the best he could do in that. The ult goes out, but is it enough from Shadow to hold on? He manages to get one, and Solgas, he's missing some really key shots. Time. The carry is on the floor, and there's not enough time. The ult goes out from Zipan, and he's not done yet. Fun plus Phoenix, they've come here to play, and they will not give Liquid a chance. He's just going to run away. He's not going to take this fight because there's no time, and Fun plus Phoenix get the round. Link was too slow to react. I really don't think he could have made it after Zipan either, though, as soon as Zip started to zip on out of there. And he is having a wonderful day as 10 to 7 we go. Fun plus Phoenix, man. They are in a position now where they could reasonably close this out and knock Liquid out in third place for this tournament. That is unbelievable. Unheard of. I'm coming through the group stages, remember. Liquid place number one. They definitely look like the best team in this yep. tournament. And here they are. Potentially getting knocked out on bind. A map that previously came down to an overtime. Now, this is how it will come down to, Mitch, right? First place gets 6,000 euros. Second, 3,000. Third place, 1,500. G2 are sat waiting yeah, and watching are. this, laughing most likely because they don't care which opponent they face. But they're watching Liquid get dominated. Oh. You know, Artis is probably in chat saying a thing or two. Scream just got boom botted, but he managed to heal up, but it means it's popped. It's already gone out of the equation. Ooh. Hold on, Zipan could be in some big trouble. Shot in the head by Scream through the exactly gap. And now, a two versus one. A res in play, a TP. So no res is gonna come through, or that's what you might think. But look at where Scream is going. <laughs> they suspect it. Big plays being made by Meadow as he sticks over towards this site. He's gonna, go oh, this oh. is such a sneaky position. Sit in bathroom and just wait. Oh, Listen Scream. Listen here. <gasps> Where's Scream going? 40 seconds. What? This is wild. The, the, oh, oh. They're going to run into each other. It depends. Meadow's looking over towards the site. It's uh, all going to come down to timing. Scream could actually uh, get the backstab on this. Why would Meadow ever suspect him to be here? The time's starting to run low, oh, though. Huge. This is where Spidey senses might start to tingle. Look at this. It's all down to timing. Oh, a 1v1. And it goes Scream's oh, way first as well. And now Fun Plus Phoenix behind. I a 1v2. Exactly. How Scream managed to pull this back, Banks. This should have not been possible. This should have been Scream losing it dead to rights in a 2v1. But now Solkas, sorry, Shadows even, is coming round. And he's going to try and take Cryptics out of it. 1v1. He should have a similar idea to where he is. He's got the armor to play with. Oh, that's brilliant. Cryptic swings on it just at the right time. And Liquid, they're not down and out of it just yet. Still two rounds behind. But Scream, that was a big boy play. So smart. Incredibly accurate. Look at this from Scream's perspective. The peak comes through. He sees the barrel come around just a millisecond earlier. But based on Scream's reaction time, that's like a week for me. That's easy peasy for Cryptics as well. Shadow, I have no idea where that other player was. And 10 to 8. Fun plus Phoenix looked like they had that round locked down. It should have been theirs, but Scream pulls it out of the bag with a Hail Mary rotate through the TP all the way around to Bath. And now they might be showering in glory. And extra money if they win this one. A whole lot of extra money. So it doubles their earnings if they can just mm. find this. Oh, Meadow. It's oh, that's not what he meant to do. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Small errors like that can be costly, but at least for now, they're fine. They're blocking each other a bit, though. They need to space up. Shadow is in a good spot to swing on this and work it out. But is he going to be spotted first? Ooh, that shot dies on point. It puts Shadow on 55 health. Fun plus Phoenix. They need to make a big play off of this. Pop comes through. 
a lot of damage to be done. They're managing to hold their own for now. But look how low Meadow and Shadow are. They may have not died, but they are just a couple of bullets away from being finished off. Liquid, maybe not even sure how much damage they've done. Huge rotation needs to come in, though. It's still two players up on A. It's not happening just yet. The Omen in Eccles is being a nuisance. The wall goes up. Shadow tries to swing on it, but they're ready for it. The flash doesn't work. It's a slow push in. That spike will go down, even if it's low on timing. Oh, no. Eccles has managed to get into spawn banks. He snuck right past the solo defender over there. Oh, it's huge. Shao's missed him. They have no literally way, got no, no idea that Eccles is here. And as Meadow walks back, he can't win the fight. Zipan falls too. And Liquid somehow pulling themselves back into this one. Shao's going to try to make it work with a judge. Long range. If he can land that shock, it could help a lot. They had no info on where these guys were. Angel trying to find his way in. Oh. Deals with Eccles though. Nice headshot landed. Still more to do. They now got the information to play off of it. But is it going to be enough? Scream shuts down Shao. And Angel can't stand strong long enough. Liquid make it 10-9. And they are fighting for their lives. They are fighting for survival. And they are not giving up. No, they're not, Banks. There is no surrender for Team Liquid. They look no down and out just because of how far behind they were. Likelihood of them coming back in was getting less and less, but two huge Thank plays, you. Eccles and Scream, bringing these last two rounds back. And now, Fun Plus Phoenix have got to be feeling the pressure. They're coming into this round with just pistols and what reasonably should be Liquid's round win to equalize again and put us back into a position where I don't even know who to favor anymore. This is the game we were hoping we'd be delivered, Banks. And they made us, they made us nervous. They made us wait. But here it is. You can feel how much these two teams want it. In a best of one, the tension is high. There's no second chances. There's no do-overs. Especially when you're in this lower bracket. Scream there, just about avoiding the shock dart. We'll fall back on this for now. They try to bait someone out with the footsteps, see if anyone will try and swing on them. But no one's far enough forward just yet. The Fun Plus Phoenix, they're trying to get the information, but they're so in the dark. Oh, the timing here. Easy first one for Eccles. No problem at all. You really got to group up at this stage. and The reality is Liquid know they're up against a low buy. Yeah. And so individual fights just cannot be taken. For Cryptics, uh, ooh, he didn't check his close right. It's always dangerous versus the likes of what could be a shorty. Oh, running while shooting. That's never going to work. Fortunately, his timing was a bit off. I'm standing still, so Angel's able to take a frag and upgrade a weapon. That could be quite costly. There is a Hunter's Fury in play, but it's not pop. Ah, oh, well, eventually it is. Link has gone through the TP. He's on his way back around. It'll take him a little while to get there. Good oh, kill on the soul still. cast. Another for Eccles. Oh, oh my god, just Shadow's up close. He might still be able to get oh, it though with the frenzy in play. Oh, and he's always gonna go for the reload. No way! They got the defuse. That was huge. Shao with the ultimate forced them all far away and team liquid. They played themselves. Look how good this was. As soon as Eccles falls, that is it under hefty threat. And somehow they managed to just hold that down with Shadow for long enough to get it done. That is ridiculous, Banks. Not a round they should have lost. I was thinking the TP was a little bit aggressive, yeah. considering that obviously it doesn't take that long to defuse. <laughs> you can't run all that way. <laughs> I don't know how fast you are. Like, my cardio is definitely not up to scratch, but I didn't think anyone was making that. Usain Bolt ain't making that. <laughs> An 11 and 9. Okay, there's ults in play for Liquid, but that is just fun. Pl what did we say? It was 9 10. Your versus a couple of pistols, uh, small upgraded weapons, but no real <sighs> investment. There's no way that should have went to Fun Plus Phoenix. FPX are living the dream right now. It was looking like a third in a row for Liquid, but no. They somehow let it go off the back of that Hunter's Fury, and Shao timed it to perfection. He scared the hell out of Liquid, forcing him to run away from their own spike.
And you can see why, right? Because when that wall goes down for the plant, and as soon as they deal with, I think it was cryptics, Mm -hmm. once that happens, you know then everybody's in a very tight angle. They're either in lamps, they're outside of lamps, or they're down that little alleyway for mid. And so what better to do than ult down? The whole idea being to push them back towards the spawn side so that Shadow could get up close with the Frenzy. And then, obviously, as long as he just delays them long enough, you've already got the round. And this is a timeout from Liquid. They've been trying to use these to their advantage. They did it in the G2 game. They started to bounce back. They know that Fun Plus Phoenix are on the edge of match point. Link on the Spectre. The rest of them have the buy up in there, but their money is not good. Their money is not strong. While you look on the other side after a round like that, well, Fun Plus Phoenix, they got a good couple of rounds in them with no real issues at all. Shower again is back up there. And Shadow, he's actually stepped up beyond what is normally what we see from this man. You just saw FPX with uh, four players towards B. Obviously, we're still in the uh, tactical timeout, so it's not a massive deal. I was just getting closer to double check that because you remember the play a little while ago over in group stage where it was like a four man B stack, two peaked it and went through the TP for a fast yep. A flank yep. through Bath. And then they pushed Bath as well. I was getting vibes of that, but obviously they were just... <gasps> They're pushing all the way down. Evidently, Ooh. they were thinking about the long push and just decided Ooh. to leave a second player towards A. No TP Screen play this time. Screen wants to run on it, though. Look, there's two Shadow Orbs down already. Angel's put some of his own down. Shao getting the shot guards in by the looks of it. Oh, that Can he good. do something? No damage first. Oh, he's got to be careful. He avoids the ult. He stays alive for now. Liquid are committing a lot to this. They want to try and put the hurt onto FPX. Link looking for extra information, and it's something they're seriously lacking. They know now at least there is one player close, but it's how they deal with it. Oh, perfect timing on the ult from Shadow. He knocks them off their feet indeed, but is it going to be enough to take the round? They push on out. They're trying to make it happen. They're going as a team. They're going as a unit. Kills going the way of FPX. Liquid are not standing strong, but Eccles wants to try and change that. Soulcast through the smoke. He oh. manages to grab two cryptics in there as well. This is the time to shine. Eccles on the side. He gets the job done. It's 11-10, and Liquid make up from the blunder from before. Massive play by Eccles to just TP into their spawn amidst the chaos just as the retake started. He All realized right. they'd be a little bit too distracted. They couldn't wait for him to come up behind. They had to just dedicate forward, but that obviously leaves a gap then for him to come back behind and take at least the 1v1, which is exactly what he got in his favor, pulling the round all the way into Team Liquid's camp. 11 to 10. Oh, man. 11 to 10 isn't a bad scoreline. It's one that I could envision. If you told me it'd be this scoreline in this game, I'd believe you. The fashion we got here, however, no, not exactly. The second half has been ludicrous. Between Scream and Eccles now twice making massive plays. Between Fun Plus Phoenix winning when they just had pistols. It's not been uh, conventional in the slightest. It's madness from start to finish. FPX are down on another pistol by Banks. And I'm going to risk tempting fate by saying that this should be Team Liquid equalizing 11 to 11, right? Of course you're going to do a jinx it like that. <laughs> Commentator's curse in full effect potentially, Mitch. But for now, right, you look at everything that Team Liquid have done in this game, they potentially should be on match point. <laughs> but Fun Plus mm -hmm. Phoenix have been fighting back in style, winning rounds they shouldn't win. Fun Plus Phoenix managed to win that crazy previous round. Oh, oh that's a bit of an error on Zipan's part. An ult on a pistol round that he just gets slapped for it. Shao, though! Oh, he's making it work, but it's not enough. It's only two for now. The site is secured by Liquid, but they still have to be oh so careful. I wonder what's going through their minds right now. They know how dangerous this can be. Screams even getting the revive up because they're taking no risks when it comes to this. The flashes go out. They're trying to poke round it. Link right on the edge. The wall's still up. Oh, they're flashed out again, but the swing's not working. Oh, Meadow! Fangel from the side! It's all on cryptics! He knows the positions, at least he can play off it. Oh, no, it's not. It's on the other side. This is less than ideal. Cryptics right on the edge of it. His position's known. They've got guns in their hands. Can Fun Plus Phoenix do it again? They need to both go at the same time. It's ticking away. The cage goes down. He's trying to bait it out. It's all on Angel. He's being mind games. He has to play off it. Oh, he's in the cage. Oh, Angel gets it done. 
The time, though, it's too late. Angel's got to run through the TP to save the weapon over. It is going to be an 11 for Team Liquid, but boy, did it come close. And one paranoia saved that round for Liquid. If Eccles didn't throw that out in Bath and blind Zipan, Zipan would have zipped around that corner and completely shredded them. There were two players standing next to each other. Why was Meadow and Angel not facing this together, though? It's a 1v2. Cage triggered. Years of experience you have, Angel, and that is not the play to make. Not the first time we've seen it either, Banks, today. Fun plus Phoenix have made these mistakes in the previous game. 11-11, Liquid right on the edge. Next round gets match point. Angel has his ultimate up if he does wish to use it, but the rest of his team do not. Drone goes out and he'll just fade away for now. Puts down the orb and there. Oh, Soul Cash, you're not getting away with this one. He can still. Oh! That's huge. Scream may get one, but Soul Cash with his ult up goes down. Zipan from the grave kills Link. A boom bot. A boom bot onto Lynx as he's dying. That is beautiful. How the is camera this spotted. Oh, they have no idea Meadow's got a cam up there. Didn't see it. It's way too elevated. This is such an important round. It's a 3v3, but Liquid are the ones that benefit from that the most. The defenders have to split up, really, especially as Liquid make no noise. Now, the idea here is that hopefully you'll see Fun Plus Phoenix start to push. They'll get aggressive and run right into this firing squad. Liquid need to be very careful. They can't give anything away. They've got a small amount of map control, but they know Fun Plus Phoenix realistically can't push either. They're going to hope that if they do, they run into that stack. But with 40 seconds left, eventually it's time to go. Wasting down time as you've got an omen who's getting some smokes up is fine. But now they've been spotted, oh. two spotted, and he's not going to give it away. Eventually he does, though, as Shadow takes the first, looking for more. Oh. And the swing is good. Flash, though, too late. Oh. It catches him anyways. And Eccles goes down. 12 to 11. Fun plus Phoenix, one away from confirming their spot in the grand finals and knocking Team Liquid out in third. That was the riskiest flash ever. And Eccles looked straight at it. Amazing from Meadow, though, on how he utilized his camera here. Brilliant stuff. Ultimate teamwork. And Eccles just can't land those shots. One more round is all that's needed. And Xiao is having the game that FPX need him to have. He's pushing and pulling them, kicking and screaming to try and make it to the grand final for the first ever tournament as this team. Cover, cover. Zip and go kill. They made it through the qualifiers. We knew the rumors for them to go and join Fun Plus Phoenix. This was the super team being formed together. Can they take down Liquid as Liquid are playing in their first tournament as this organization? This is what it's all come down to. And this is not a good buy here for Liquid at all. Sheriffs all around. Not everyone, but a most Bulldog, yeah. they've got a marshal. This is a scrappy buy, Banks. Scrappy can work, though. Liquid have done it with worse. Fun plus Phoenix. It's been touch and go. Liquid trying to bust into this B site. They found a lot of success in it. The wall off goes in. The camera's found this time. Oh, they break the trap though. Shadow just holding on. Avoids taking damage for now. The abilities are just not working on Liquid's side though. They're committed so much to it and it's gonna be a five man retake for Fun Plus Phoenix. They have managed to pick up an orb just before, though. That's the Hunter's Fury online. A small detail, but it could be huge. They delayed the plant just enough to get that online. The boom bot dealt with the nade through. Pushes a player into the open. Shadow rushing on through to look for a close range duel. Oh! But he's shot in the side by Eccles, who had the trigger discipline, biding his time. Oh, Cryptic no! spotting them out, but the shot's in the back. Fun plus Phoenix 3v2. This could work out, but Altic from afar trying to delay that defuse. And it looks like he might actually hit it on a few players, but it's not enough to take them down. He has to rush forward and beat them before they get it, and he can't. Fun plus Phoenix. 13 to 11, go through to the grand finals. They make it work.